This TikTok says that if you stare at a mirror for more than 10 minutes, you start to hallucinate. Let's find out if that's true. Ha! Huh. After a few minutes, some things are happening. It looks like my face is melting. Three minutes in, my face starts to look like a blur. But I haven't seen any ghosts so far. And after almost exactly 10 minutes, Oh, I saw some like transparent figure. TikTok might actually be right, Jesper. Oh my God. That was actually insane. I want to do more of this. I like the Gansfeld effect. For the Gansfeld effect, you block your vision with a cut in half ping pong ball. Okay, now we just got to get rid of the extremely sharp edges. You play some white noise through headphones and add some bright red lights. All to trigger hallucinations by the lack of stimulus that my brain has. Isn't that right, Jesper? You are so correct. Ah, time to get started. We put 30 minutes on the clock and I'm telling you anything I think, feel, or see. It feels like I'm in the womb. Dragonflies and cornflakes. <laughs> okay, yeah, off to a good start. <laughs> I think it's called pak choy, but like when it's uncut, I keep seeing that visually in my mind's eye. I'm so in tune with my calendar right now. And after hallucinating more, you know, bogus, weird stuff is starting to happen. I think Jesper's here because someone's breathing on my face. Hello, Jesper breathing on my face. You're like really close, I think, because I feel your breath like a lot. <laughs> okay, all right, that's a bit weird. Uh, maybe wind got into the studio somehow? Can you even hallucinate sensations? Or was it a ghost? Alpaca. Oh yeah, someone's really up close breathing on me. Bruh, stop. <laughs> I, think, I think Jesper just went <sighs> Well, there goes the alarm. I hear a cat. Oh, yo, everything is so loud. How was that? Oh, it made, me it made me so tired. But everything I said was a visualization that popped up. A socket outlet. Hey, you want to level up the Gansfeld? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Do some telepathic stuff. But before we dig into literal telepathy. I found some videos for you. You're going to stare at the center mm -hmm. for 30 seconds. Okay. When a video stops, yeah. you just look around you and everything should be deformed and like going crazy. And stuff. Fun. Oh, wow. That is... Trippy. Like the ceiling can hold us. Okay, look around you. Hello, Quentin. Oh. Hi. Oh. Everything seems kind of like jelly and just, just... Guys, does Jesper kind of look like Macklemore? No. And what if you use a lack of hearing and vision to hallucinate and then paint something? Like I'm feeling the colors. This is absolutely red and I wanted to pick red. Uh, yeah, that, no, that is really going well. Of course, these two. Anyway, for the next effect, I'm sure you know it. I stare at a red dot for a long time. Oh, it, it adds blue. Oh, why? Yo, what? What are you saying? Like a wavy static going around. And I see a, 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 a bright blue dot because my red color receptors in the middle are exhausted. So now I see like one blue circle everywhere. Why, why, why the creepy ass sound? But this effect was a lot stronger. Oh, what the hell? It's really wild now. It's like a lot of flashes and, and flipping around. It's like it's reshaping super quickly. Oh, what the hell? You don't see this? Oh! Hello, Quentin. How am I looking? <laughs> Holy hell! What? Uh, it kind of like pulses. It's like a zoom pulse, basically. So your eyes just kind of go like... Like you have like one big eye. It, it doesn't last very long, but it was... Uh, the, the last one I really liked. So it's accessible to everyone. I mean, so are all the other experiments that we're doing. And they're safe? They are completely safe, yeah. If you don't have epilepsy, but you know. And, and probably also not have like a... I guess a mental diagnosis that makes it hard for you to determine real life from fiction. What a great segue that was. Part of the reason why it's so easy for me to hallucinate using these things is because as a child I actually got a diagnosis for MCDD or and I have to read this because I can't remember multiple complex developmental disorder though as a child having this was actually quite rough and what this would do even if I would like really get into like my my, my, my daydreams my my imagination sometimes my brain would tell me that it was real kind of similar to that one Rick and Morty episode where they play um, the game called Roy and Morty gets out of there and he's just like where's my wife where's my kids what the hell? What, what, where am I? Nerd. <laughs> you gotta imagine that right now, you watching this video turns out to not be real and you're actually like an eight-year-old kid fantasizing everything and then all of a sudden you're taken out of it and, they're like, and it's all because your brain just tells you it's real. We're actually hospital stuff. This is part of the 
<laughs> this is the revelation. All right, boys, strap me back in. For the second round of the Gansfeld effect, Jesper will be trying to send me an image to hallucinate using nothing but his mind. Because according to some studies, this might actually work. The picture he chose, Mr. Beast. I really want to say mammoth and chainsaw man. Kuchipachi from Tamagotchi. Among us? <laughs> and alternative women. But, um, after about 10 minutes... But also a magical slime monster human capable of fully developing other humans and digesting them in their slime. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like this doesn't work. I don't want to be that guy. I just keep seeing women. I sound like, 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 a, like a little bit of a simp when I keep saying that stuff. And now I see Mario. But now the mushroom's being twisted and the top part is turning into a hat. So it might also be a leprechaun. No, I mean a gnome. A gnome. Oh, it's a gnome, but he's wearing a mushroom hat. That's so sick. Long story short, it did not work. Hello? Uh. So that didn't really uh, bear any results. D do you want to know what I was looking at? Yeah. Mr. Beast. You know the one thing you always <laughs> talk about? If you asked me 10 years ago if I'd expected to be filming myself, painting something fully blindfolded in my living room, surprisingly, I would believe that. My mind just told me to take both of the end ones. And finally, some more red. Oh, I like that you're using <laughs> scissors near my face. Let's reverse the rolls. Uh, Don't breathe on me. Uh, you're looking so good right now. Uh, any single ladies out there? And the image we're looking at is this. Oh no, this. All right, will Jesper end up hallucinating the raspberries? In my head, I keep thinking of Matthew Beam. We did talk about Matthew Beam. Like this video if you think that Quentin Hyde should get the Matthew Beam haircut. Yeah, so after 30 minutes... Do any of the Garfield films have like a romantic arc? Garfield on a world tour. Garfield, Garfield, Garfield! Did I get it? Garfield no! It was not Garfield? It was raspberries! All right. The great riff... Oh my god, am I always yelling this much? Huh! I was gonna be like, wow, this this sucks, but I made a sun and it's like there's an ocean and yeah, no, it still sucks. You know what doesn't suck though? The video you see on your screen right now is the time that I took a stranger to couples therapy to see if the couples therapist would actually notice that we weren't a couple at all. If that sounds sick to you, let's give it a click and see if you like it. 